Welcome back. You may not know his name, but his art is helping to make St. Louis beautiful. More importantly, it's bringing people together. Steve Harris introduces us to the artist known as Jamaica Ray in tonight's St. Louis Proud. If you visit Crown Candy, you might hear him making music. On steel drums, he makes tunes and sells. He goes by Jamaica Ray, having spent much of his life there. He's lived here for the past 11 years. You gotta bang this for like two weeks. This is his day job. His passion takes him a few blocks away. Come on. Trading his steel drum and mallets for a paint can and a brush. Giving the building at Benton and Blair a facelift. I see people that paint in our neighborhood and they come in and paint something in like two days and it's uh, good art, but you can tell they did it fast. You can tell. Even though it's good art, you can tell they did it in two or three days. Artists, they see this building here and say, man, that's good art. But you actually, hmm, it's all about that. You actually saw, you put some uh, thought into that. His canvas has no edges. I try to compliment things that are next to me, whether it's up or above my painting, below my paintings, to the left or to the right. Scenes spilling onto the sidewalk or wherever his vision guides his hand. This is not wood, this is cheap, cheap uh, plastic. And the back of the building, well, that is a hidden gem. All this is positive energy right here. A mural on every wall, each scene connected. Everything that I paint, I try to compliment what next to it. Since this elephant got a trunk, this is a long door. So the, so the trunk compliment the door. He paints what he knows. It's all part of my life, like tropical uh, painting, that's part of my life. Reggae music, that's part of my life. The, the drums, that's part of my life, man. He paints to remember. I was painting the totem pole, like Martin Luther King and Nelson Tuckman and uh, Malcolm X. And when I got to the very top and I was in on my journey, Kobe Bryant died. So that's why I painted Kobe Bryant. See up there? He's been painting a long time. I've been doing it like all my life. I never went to no uh, college or, or anything like that. He paints for people. This is real, but this is just one big plywood. I just made it uh, look like concrete. People who live here. I just moved here. Uh, I'm from originally from Memphis, and Ray is definitely a staple in the neighborhood. Uh, all the art he does around here, my place, even on the inside of the area, it's all great, man. And people who pass by. All of them say this year. Wow. Wow. Wow, man, look at this. Bringing an island attitude. Sandals on, uh, blue water, blue sea. I mean, it, it, it reminds me of being back on the Caribbean, man. And something beautiful to St. Louis. People tell me from the mailman to the garbage man to the police to the fire department, they said they need more things like this in the neighborhood. Art bringing people together. People tell me from young to the old to black and white that uh, this art actually make you, you want to get to know your neighbor. That's music to Jamaica Ray's ears. I don't own no money tree. Steve Harris. I've got muscle and I got brain. I don't mind the sun and the rain. News 4.